it is running. Welcome to Christmas 2016. And there's everybody, all the people. Christmas. So much Christmas. I'm dying inside. Hey, YouTube. Today, I'm going to be making a Lego play table for my nephew. So, let's get to it. So, I'm at work right now. I'm using the extra space and the large table saw to break down my half-inch Baltic birch plywood. I'm using two sheets. You can see me test fitting my dado here. This table is going to be built more like a cabinet than a table, so there's going to be several dados cut and interlocking pieces. Now here I'm cutting a stop dado, so I only go about halfway through the sheet. And here I'm going backwards. I don't really recommend that you do this. Uh, it's better to use a router or some other method of cutting a stop dado. Having all of these pieces interlock will make this a very rigid box that will be hard to break. My Lego table was definitely inspired by Bob's over at I Like to Make Stuff. If you'd like to make one of your own, I really suggest you check out his plans. Here I'm cutting dados in the drawer pieces to fit the bottom thin piece of plywood. First I cut one dado, the width of the blade, then I move the fence over and make another cut. A wet rag cleans up the glue very easily. And I measure across the corners and use gentle pressure to correct it if it's out of square. I'm using a very thin piece of plywood offcut to shim up the drawer runners so that there's space between the two drawers. And I put swivel casters on one end and fixed casters on the other, so it's easier to steer. This cut made me kind of nervous, so if you aren't comfortable with this, find another way to do it, or be very careful to check that the clamp won't contact the blade before you start. These pieces are going to become the slides for the tabletop, and I switched to 3 quarter inch Baltic birch for these for the extra strength. Each of those pieces is getting glued in place. They don't need clamps at this point. And once the glue has set, I'll put a screw through for a little bit of extra strength. I clamped this board because there was a little bit of a bow in the plywood. And once the glue sets, these will get screws as well. I cut a chamfered piece with a miter to serve as a border around the tabletop. 
and after I test fit the pieces, the Lego tiles, I cut the tabletop in half, as well as the drawer, the table slides. I used Lego bricks between the base plates when I glued them down to make sure that pieces would still lock onto the plate after it was glued because there's a small gap between each plate. If they were butted right up against each other, the bricks wouldn't fit on. I used paste wax to lubricate any sliding parts like the drawers and the tabletop slides. That slide is very strong. I hope you liked this project. I hope you learned something from it. I certainly did. I hope you make one for somebody you care about too. Make anything for somebody you care about. This is gonna be, you're gonna see this after Christmas. So Christmas doesn't matter. Make something for somebody you care about any time of the year. Just let them know you care. All right, like, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications if you want. Look forward to a lot more projects in the new year. You like this little guy, huh? No more audio problems. Except for when my mouth screws up. Because that's what happens. <laughs>